This tutorial requires beginner skills, takes about an hour to prep, 20-30 minutes to paint and then about 40 minutes to apply. We spent a small amount of money on that decoration moss, that green hairspray color and the black and white outfit. Anything black and white with stripes will do just fine. Let's start this prep by creating a lot of teeth and for that we are using Elimorph plastic which you can get your hands on on Elimorph.com. Acrylic nail tips will do the job as well even though the teeth won't get the same depth. We flatten that roll out, flip it over and flatten it some more. And then we simply start to cut out some small triangles for the teeth. Now, we are not gonna run around at a busy Halloween party, so we can make these teeth pretty sharp, even though they are going close to our eyes. But if you plan on going to a party with this outfit, we suggest you dull those edges off. Just like we do here, cut all those sharp edges off, and then work those edges with your fingers until those tips are dull. A super safe, friendly tooth, and a more jagged one for just photo sessions. And of course, since we are doing three different mouths, we need a lot of teeth. Speaking of creating the mouths, we are mixing liquid latex with baking flour to get a nice little paste. If you got a face cast, you might want to prep that with a little bit of an extension here using clay, so that the mouth will be shaped away from your eyes both for safety and so that you can blink properly behind that mouth. You can of course create these little mouth pieces on a flat surface as well and if you do we suggest you add that little clay underneath as well. Smear on that latex paste and start shaping our mouths. And basically it's all about creating some goo to stick those teeth in one upper jaw and lower jaw for each of the mouths. And get your shape down, start sticking in those teeth you just created. With the basic shape in place, we stick in the teeth straight into the latex paste. And again, since we are working in a controlled environment and just doing this to film it and take a few still shots, it's perfectly safe to go with the sharp teeth, but as I said, if you plan on going to a crowded party, we suggest sticking with the dull teeth. And then we first try to create a few lips here, but uh, we didn't think they panned out that good, so we simply wiped those lips away. But if you feel you want lips on all those mouths, just go ahead and do that. We went without lips. And for best smoothing results, make sure you have a lot of liquid latex on your finger or the tools you are using. When you're done, leave everything to dry overnight and then you're ready to remove all those prosthetics and start painting them. Simply peel the latex off while applying ample amounts of powder or flour. The flour prevents the latex from sticking to itself, so make sure you apply a lot of it. With a pair of scissors, we separate the three mouth pieces and when they're off, we trim the edges of each of the mouths and we also split them in two. For the two pieces going on our eyes, we leave a lot of latex going upwards. That way, the edges of the latex will disappear into your forehead. And now you got three mouths to feed. Or paint, I mean. Um, and if some of the teeth fall out, simply glue them back in. To get a real nasty look on the gum here, we mix both green and red. In this case, we are using grease-based colors because they mix really well and are good to blend. 
For added depth, we go in with black between the teeth and then we coat the whole thing with one layer of varnish. That clip disappeared though, so you can't see it, but you see it's more shiny. Then we add yellow and at the base, a little more brown there to really dirty down those teeth. At the end of the night, when you remove these, remember to save them because they are awesome as zombie mouths. And the shout goes to Da Dolitas. Check out the details in these creations. It's truly amazing, really. The detail here just blows my mind. Back in Malmo, Sweden with Ellie and let's apply these mouths. First though, a little protection with Vaseline there on our brows. Don't want to rip them out when we remove those mouths later on. Of course, beginning with black grease-based colors here to get that solid black behind the mouth. Then pour out a little bit of liquid latex and start attaching them. You can of course use skin adhesive if that's better for you. Securing them with additional latex along the edges. And yeah, the cool thing is you will be able to move those mouths. And thanks to the clay we added to our face cast, we now have a good distance between the teeth and our eyes. And the teeth are pointing away from our eyes as well, giving us a lot of room to blink. Repeat the process all around. First apply, then line the edges with liquid latex. And of course, we are aware that Beetlejuice never appears or looks like this in the actual movie. But this is just us going bananas with a character that's totally bananas in the movie, so go check it out if you haven't seen it. Beetlejuice is, however, very, very pale or white in the movie, so we go for a super bright foundation. It also works with plain white color. With this light base in place, it's time for some shading and we are heading for that purple tone. Applying it to kick those cheekbones, shape the nose and the forehead a bit there. And we go in with a nice fluffy brush to blend. I'm transforming into an 80s classic in Swedish is... Jag förvandlas till en 80-tals klassiker. With that first layer of shade in place, we go in and deepen it with additional black. And if you've seen the movie, you know that the makeup is insanely rough. You really need to go check it out. So to make this look rough, we go in with streaks of purple here going outwards from our chin and around our eyes. Just like that. Streaks outwards and upwards, and then go in and blend it slightly. Before applying the decoration moss, we need a little nice green grungy surface to put it on. So we switch to a green color. And all these colors are grease-based, by the way. Mix in a little green and a little brown shade. There is no real set location or place to put these little green islands of color. Just put them where you see fit. And speaking of that mouth moving I talked about before, there we got it. <laughs> Looks pretty sick. Alright, so there's the decoration moss. Let's put that in place. Again, using either skin adhesive of some sort or the liquid latex. Since this is sort of a mix between a human and some weirdo monster, we want the hair to be both green and the original color. But first we tease it, back home it here, 
get it all fluffy and big. Sort of Lion King big. And then we take that green hairspray color, and that's the last step. And with that color in place... Boom! You are Freaky Beetlejuice from one of the most insane movies of the 80s. A super classic, recognizable character that will go so well on any Halloween party. You think it came out super cool, and it's really fun that you can move those mouths as well. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who wants some cool ideas for Halloween looks. We'll be back in a few short days with another insane Halloween makeup tutorial. Take good care, love you, bye.